Hello everyone, Justin here and today let's try drawing a gazelle. So we're just going to work on the head today and so let's just go ahead and start marking off the rough shapes. So let's break this down into its basic shapes first. Like Here are the eyes right here and the head is kind of squarish or more actually more rect rectangular. So let's just kind of draw a rectangle. The center, the midline of its face is going to be kind of like this way. So let's just do that. And like I said, the eyes are out here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start roughing in the, the eyes. And they kind of stick out off the side of the head. So you just basically see like these half eyes almost. Continuing down, we've got the nose down here. And it's basically going to be this black shape. the mid part of its upper lip here and then the mouth kind of it almost looks like it's smiling and I'll just go ahead and make that dark as well just because of the coloration of the lips all right so we've got the chin down here and so now you can see that the nose mouth area is actually narrower than the uh, the head area so we've got basically kind of like a snout that's like this and so the rest of this part right here will be kind of like in the background, further back of the head, and this part as well. So I'm just marking this off a little bit just to kind of delineate better the front part of its uh, snout or head. All right, so the eyes are going to be essentially black. I'll go ahead and try putting a, in a highlight here, see how it looks. And same here, I'll just go ahead and put a little highlight here on the left. And I feel pretty good about this part, that's why I'm going ahead with trying to finalize some of the details. And it's got these pretty big uh, eyelashes that kind of stick out. And let's go ahead and emphasize that, same with down here. And you see what I mean now, you can see like this is the side of the eyeball and here it's almost like the eyes are uh, pointed outward. Alright, so up here we've got these two little antlers that kind of go up and then kind of curve outward. Just like that and we'll go ahead and do the same on this side. Let's say it kind of goes up and then out. And notice that this got kind of thicker so I'm just gonna go ahead and match it up to the other side just so it doesn't stick out and same thing out here and now I can kind of finalize the top of the head the ears themselves they look like these long diamond shaped um, ears so comes out here goes to a tip and basically it looks like this and let's go ahead and do the other side same thing, it doesn't have to be perfectly uh, um, symmetrical and you don't want se uh, perfect symmetry anyway when drawing animals because they're rarely perfectly, first of all, looking directly at you and uh, just uh, by nature, um, probably not going to be symmetric left to right. Not that that would be easy to do anyway. Um, uh, as you try to draw something. So let's kind of soften these lines a little bit so make this more of a curve. Same thing here. I'm going to curve out that line and here it looks obviously too pointy and same with the tip there, too pointy. So let's kind of curve things out and back. Alright, so continuing on we've got uh, part of the ear actually the back of the ear kind of shows up here so I'm extending this line here and here you can actually already see the back of that ear alright so I'm just gonna continue rendering it a little bit more so that it looks a little bit more finished and right here we can see the the neck kind of going off to the left and the neck on this side kind of comes off the corner of the chin right here so I'll just continue it down 
just like that and notice I already added some shading here as well and it actually has a dark coloration just coming from the inside of the eye so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with these short lines kind of indicate that darker area and I'm kind of following also the the direction of what I would think the hair would be going okay there's a dark area here and I'm gonna switch to my thinner pen for that coloration so I'm gonna go ahead and delineate the shape of that coloration here it kind of narrows a little bit towards the bridge and flares out a little bit like that and we've got some darker tones again over here going to the base more or less of the antlers and I'll do the same thing over here and notice I'm doing these short lines that kind of follow the direction of the hair all right so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start kind of coloring the nose here and it gets a little bit darker right about here so I'll just go ahead and put in those lines and then go over it again all the way across and now you've got a double layer of lines right in the center and that helps to make that value a little bit darker and you can just keep going back and forth as well until you're happy with uh, the tone how dark it is and I'm just gonna go across just like this all right now I'm gonna go ahead and add some shading here and you know you you don't necessarily have to follow what the direction of the hair at this point here I'm just doing some cross hatching trying to get uh, some shape and form to the head just like that and here I am going to go back to kind of following the same direction as these darker marks so just like that okay and same here short lines sometimes it helps to kind of squint at your reference just to see where exactly are the dark values and just try to imitate that as you go on with your drawing add some cross hatching for the darker areas and here I'm gonna follow the direction of the hair a little bit more because here it's a little bit more obvious which way the hair kind of stands and which direction they're going all right so just really short lines and this kind of helps to show the texture but as but it also shows some values because you don't want this neck to look like it's just um, flat you want to give it some dimension and it kind of goes all the way across this way the, the direction and it kind of comes across a little bit just because of the way the neck is rotated All right, I'm gonna go ahead and my reference doesn't really show a lot of shadow right here but I'm just gonna go ahead and make this part darker just because I'm kind of assuming making some assumptions here that there will be a cast shadow from the head projected onto the neck so I'm just gonna go ahead and make this part darker and as an artist of course you have the liberty to do whatever you want so that's what I'm doing here and I'm gonna go ahead and make this edge darker as well just to again give it form and I think I'll, I'm pretty much done with the neck part I'm just gonna add some light shading on this side of the the mouth area and the chin just to give it again some form shadows here 
and let's work on the ears now there's a dark really dark area because it's in shadow right here and I'm just gonna quickly cover that area with some sharpie marks and just kind of save myself a little bit of time so it's darkest right underneath this fold and kind of darker here as well and now I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in to the rest of the ear and it'll be a little bit there's a dark edge right here by the tips and the edge of the ear so I'm just kind of going over that with a lot of lines and then now I'm gonna go ahead and put in a bunch of thin parallel lines kind of keep it simple and now I'm gonna start kind of blending in the sharpie marks with the rest of the ear so it doesn't look so stark and feel free to just keep going over it until you're happy with that and I'll do the same thing here again parallel lines I'm gonna go all the way to the edge this time here and cross hatch so I'm using different techniques cross hatch sometimes I'm trying to follow the the hair direction um, it all depends on the kind really the style that you're looking for and honestly I'm not sure what style I've got I just go with whatever I feel like doing my style isn't particularly formal or accurate necessarily but I prefer kind of a sketchy style informal just a little bit of shading here otherwise you just have two lines and it doesn't have any shape kind of vary the values here a little bit all right now this part right here is really dark and of course the eyes are nice and dark and it kind of helps to keep the focus on that but I also want to add a little bit of dark tones down here just so the tonal values are kind of evenly spread all the way across the, the drawing so I went ahead and added some really dark solid blacks right here underneath the chin and maybe emphasize again the edge of the mouth here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of cross hatching and right here this part makes it a little bit more informal and casual and I think I'm gonna stop right there so that's our gazelle I hope you got something out of this tutorial and uh, have a great day please don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, I will see you at the next video. I hope you really enjoyed this. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye